Okay, so let's have situation 6. A water tank has a sloping side inclined 45 degrees with the horizontal. The total depth of water in the tank is 8 meters. A water jet issues from an orifice located on the inclined side of the tank under hydrostatic head of 5 meters. Or that the tank or that the orifice is located 3 meters vertically above the tank. The bottom of the tank is 1.2 meters above the ground. And given coefficient of velocity which is 1.0 and neglect the air resistance on the jet. So let's ano, yeah, visualize yung ating tank. Let's say yung ground natin, the tank is here, uh, inclined yung side, and meron tayong orifice dito. Okay? So it is inclined by 45 degrees. So the water is 8 meters in height. 8 meters in height. And the uh, static head, hydrostatic head, or that's the measurement from the water surface to the location of the, to the center of the orifice, the yung orifice natin. Or 3 meters above, vertically above uh, the bottom of the uh, tank. So the bottom of the tank is 1.2 meters above the ground. Okay? So ngayon, um, yung magiging flow ng ating water dito, neglecting the air resistance, will be parabolic. Yeah? So meron kang initial velocity lalabas dyan. That will be perpendicular perpendicular to that uh, inclined side of the tank. Okay? So, ito yung water natin. Tingnan nyo yan. Flow yan. Yan. Oh. Inanimate natin para maganda naman tingnan. Okay. So, determine the maximum height in meters of the issuing jet, jet arises from the level of the center of the orifice. Yeah, ito yung maximum height, no? Pro level from the center of the orifice here. Okay. So, magagamit natin dito yung concept ng um, dynamics or physics. Now, kumbaga ito yung ating origin. This is the uh, x-axis and y-axis. We can define all of that. We can define the parabola based sa uh, uh, rectilinear and projectile motion. Okay? So, uh, first of all, we need to have the angle. The angle here is 45 degrees to the, horiz uh, to the horizontal. So, yung 45 degrees is to the vertical. Kasi perpendicular yung dalawa. Now, for 45 degrees yan, then yung theta natin is 45 degrees and then. Take note, sa formula theta is from the horizontal. Yan yung nasa formula natin. Okay? So, Alright, part 1, the um, gusto, uh, kailangan muna natin kuhanin yung velocity, yung lalabas dito sa orifice. Okay? And the velocity, uh, this is using uh, hydraulics, the velocity is CV squared of 2GH for con constant head. Constant head yan. Na-assume yan na constant head. Okay? H. So, substitute natin, this uh, coefficient of velocity is 1.0. 2 times gravity, then the head. Yung head natin dito is measured from the water surface to the center of the orifice, which is 5. The result will be in meters per second. This formula is only derived from the Bernoulli's principle or Bernoulli's equation. Now, pwede natin yung ma-derive, but di ko nalang gagawin dito. Now, basta ganito yung problem, always remember these formulas in rectilinear or projectile and projectile motion. Una, the final velocity is initial plus acceleration plus time. So we have final velocity squared plus VO squared plus 2AS. AS is the displacement. And uh, the distance S is equal to VOT plus 1 half AP squared. And itong uh, definition of the parabola. That's the definition of this parabola. Yung movement ng ating water. Okay? Now, Based on this, gusto natin makuha dito yung ating y max. Now, tingnan mo lang sa formula, ano yung pinaka-applicable dyan? Now, yung concept dito, alright, yung pinaka-tuktok, that's a parabola, yung um, uh, vy dito, 
Okay? Yung ating velocity here, the component of the velocity at the top peak of the parabola is zero. Okay? Then, meron tayong Vx. The Vx, basta parabolic, yung ating uh, our projectile. Uh, Vx is constant at any point on that parabola. Constant yan. So, Vx is just simply Vo times cosine of data. Now, in terms of uh, vertical component of the velocity, we can use this one directly to solve for the y max. Okay. Now, if we use that one, vf y squared, ito yung uh, vy natin dito which is 0. If I set this one as two points, point 1 and point 2, so ito yung final velocity natin vertical, vf y squared equal to initial velocity squared, uh, y component tayo. Then, yung acceleration natin dito is the gravity. And the gravity is pulling downward. So, minus, i-minus ko siya, minus 2G. Magiging gravity na yan. Okay, yung displacement becomes the height. Becomes the height between two points. So, 2GH. Ganun yan. And the final velocity is zero at that point. Yung initial velocity natin, Y, that's the com y component of VO. That should be VO's, uh, VO. Okay, VO sine of theta, not cosine. Dali lang, ha? This is cosine of theta. I added ko lang kasi cosine yung nasulat ko. Ayan. Uh, sign dapat. Sign kasi vertical component. Uh, take note yung theta natin. The theta is measured from the horizontal. Nagkataon, okay lang kasi 45 degrees yung ating angle. Kung hindi na yan 45 degrees, it will, it will matter na. Hindi na yan 45 degrees. Okay? VOY squared is VO. 9.905 sine 45. Minus 2 times the gravity. Yung H dyan, yan yung Y max. Okay? Y max. So, kuha natin 2.5 meters. 2.5. Uh, number 22, determine the time in seconds it takes for the particle of the jet to hit the ground. So, ano yung time na from here up to that down? Yung time na mag-hit siya sa ground. Alright. I-gather ko lang yung mga data. Nag-stop siyang mag-flow. Okay, so ano yung gagawin natin dito? Now, yung kailangan natin na concept is dapat alam natin na yung ating horizontal component of the velocity at any point on the parabola is constant. Okay? So dapat alam natin yan. So, uh, ito yung distance natin from the center of the orifice to that, the x. Nakukunin muna natin yung x. Let's calculate first the x using this formula. Again, that formula is the definition of the parabola. Setting the, the, the center of the orifice at, as the origin. Ito yung x, uh, y, and x axis natin. So, at x is unknown, y, ito yung point yan, kumbaga yung coordinate of that point, y is negative 4.2. Bakit negative 4.2? Ito yung 0, 0 natin. That is our 0, 0, the origin. So, uh, yung coordinate nyan, yung y natin is ito, which is 3 meters plus 1.2. So, yan yung y natin. Coordinate of that point sa ground. No? So, using that formula, yung y natin is negative 4.2. Negative ba? Kasi pababa. Ito yung origin natin. Alright, yung x natin is unknown. The tangent 45 degrees yung ating theta. Gx, G is the gravity, 9.81. X is uh, unknown. Over 2 VO cosine theta squared. So V is 9.905 cosine of 45. Quantity squared. Kuha natin dito yung X, 13.186 uh, meters. Now, kung nag-shift solve kayo dito, baka magtaka kayo na meron kayong negative na makukuha. Yung negative na makuha nyo dyan is, eto, kung i-continue mo yung parabola dito, 
that's the measurement from here to here negative volume x okay of course we will not use that one uh, dapat lagyan mo ng iteration value pag nag-shift sub ka so again if alam natin that the velocity along x is constant then the distance x is just equal to distance x is equal to velocity x times time ganun lang kasi constant eh vx times time so vox to be specific vox lahat ng uh, yung vx dyan is just equal to vox constant siya kahit dito kahit dito siya na component constant yan lahat so the time o, pwede natin kuhanin yung total time o, uh, sa, gawin ko lang siyang uh, variable capital T the total time of travel of the project time so that is x over v o x with x known 13.186 yung v o x natin is uh, 9.905 yung v o cosine 45 and that is 1.88 seconds okay number 23 that determine the horizontal distance in meters on the ground traveled by the jet from the center line of the orifice yan yung x from the center of the orifice so yung x yung tinatanong dyan is ito 13.186 uh, I think nagka-typo lang ako dito that must be 13.817 